the life and sad ending of Richard Dean Anderson. Richard Dean Anderson was born January 23, 1950, in Minneapolis, Minnesota, U.S. His father, Stuart Anderson, was a teacher at a local high school and his mother, Jocelyn, was an artist who was talented in both sculpting and painting. After studying drama at St. Cloud State University and at Ohio University, he briefly moved to New York before settling in Los Angeles, where he worked as a juggler and a street mime and in a Renaissance-style cabaret. He worked briefly in Marineland, where his jobs included holding fish in his mouth for killer whales to leap up and snatch. Subsequently, he appeared in plays and formed a rock band called Rick Dean and the Dante with his friend Carl Dante in which he sang and played the guitar. Had dreams of playing professional hockey until he broke both of his arms during separate games. He then turned to action. When he was 16, Richard Dean Anderson broke both of his arms in separate accidents on the ice. He broke his left arm first, and while skating three weeks later, he broke his right arm so badly he was in the hospital for three months. His elbow snapped backward, and he still got pins in there. Yes, as we all know, life is inherently unpredictable, living well now is the right thing to do. Everybody have all tried our best and there are things that are not really perfect, but at least we know the results and are not curious when asking questions. There is nothing difficult in this world, it is all just a challenge. Thank you for what life brings. Life will give you many opportunities to meet and get to know these different people, outstanding and great people. Each pain is a support column for growth. Every time being attacked as a shield to shield for resilience. Life definitely has to go through difficulties, but we still persistently conquer each of those obstacles, as long as we live it is worth congratulating. Through those years, it is known he never married. He had dated many women including such actresses as Terry Hatcher, Laura Flynn Boyle, and Cella Ward as well as German ice skater Katerina Witt. Since 1996, his partner has been April A. Prose, mother of his only child, Wiley Quinn Anna Rose Anderson. His big break came in 1976 when he was cast in the popular daytime drama General Hospital as Dr. Jeff Weber. He continued to play the role for five years until he felt it was time to move on to primetime drama. He made numerous guest appearances in series such as The Facts of Life and The Love Boat and was cast as the star in two CBS series, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers and Emerald Point NAS, but both lasted just one season. His next big success came in 1985 when he won the role as the title character in the ABC adventure series MacGyver. He was cast because the producers were impressed by the lack of pretension he showed at his audition. As he is nearsighted, it was necessary for him to wear his glasses for the reading. The series lasted seven seasons and ran for 139 episodes. It was hugely successful throughout its run and has continued to be popular all over the world. He reprised his role in two TV movies, MacGyver, Lost Treasure of Atlantis and MacGyver, Trail to Doomsday, both produced by his own production company, Gecko Film Corp., which he co-founded with Michael Greenberg. Having made a huge impression in Ordinary Heroes as a blind Vietnam veteran struggling to rebuild his life in the United States. After MacGyver ended he moved on to such made-for-television movies as In the Eyes of a Stranger, Through the Eyes of a Killer, Beyond Betrayal, Past the Bleachers, and Pandora's Clock. Vietnam is a wonderful country. I have been to Vietnam, it would be fun to eat a bowl of pho there, and many other traditional beauties. He returned to series television in 1995, when he was cast as Ernest Pratt Nicodemus Legend in Legend, an adventure series that aired on UPN. He served as executive producer of the series, in which one of his co-stars was his close friend John DeLancey. His character was a dime novelist who took on the persona of the protagonist in his novels. The series was primarily a comedy, a blend of western and science fiction. 
He found major success again when cast as Colonel Jack O'Neill in Stargate SG-1, an adventure science fiction series based on the blockbuster Stargate starring Kurt Russell and James Spader. Is good friends with John DeLancey who is best known for playing the character of Q in Star Trek, The Next Generation, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, and Star Trek, Voyager. They have appeared in three different series together, MacGyver, Legend, and Stargate SG-1. When Season 8 of Stargate SG-1 came along, Richard Dean Anderson started to take a less prominent role in the series, and he eventually retired from acting due to his deteriorating health. Outside of MacGyver and Stargate SG-1, Anderson gained notoriety for a number of additional projects. In 1995, he co-starred in the critically acclaimed series Legend. He also played a guest starring voice acting role on The Simpsons in 2005. In 2010, he appeared in three episodes of Fairly Legal. In addition, Richard Dean Anderson is an accomplished producer. He has served as an executive producer on a variety of shows, including MacGyver, Lost Treasure of Atlantis, Stargate, SG-1, and Legend. During the time he was appearing on Stargate, SG-1, Richard teamed up with Michael Greenberg to create the production company Gecko Film Corporation. This company became involved in the production of every episode of Stargate, SG-1 between 1997 and 2007 although Gecko Film was not active during 2006. While portraying the character of MacGyver, Richard Dean Anderson has appeared in a range of commercials for brands like MasterCard and Pepsi. Throughout his career, Richard Dean Anderson has maintained a considerable level of privacy regarding his personal life. However, there were brief mentions of some kind of health problem following his retirement from acting in Stargate, SG-1. Some sources claim that he received surgery for a leg injury, which resulted in him being prescribed steroids. These steroids apparently caused additional health issues for the actor. Many of these surgeries were allegedly needed to treat chronic injuries suffered throughout his action-heavy acting career. In 1987 Richard paid $1.06 million for a 3,800-square-foot home in Malibu on a bluff overlooking the ocean. From what we can tell based on public records, in 1998 Richard paid $2 million for a second home in Malibu, which was likely the home next door because his original one-acre property is now parceled as two acres and features a 7,000-square-foot home that was built in 2007. The completed home was featured in a 2017 edition of Architectural Digest in which he explained that the property's former original ranch house became practically unlivable due to the wear and tear of time. In a nod to his Minnesota roots, he built the new structure in a design of classic barn structures of his childhood. Today this home is worth at least $10 million. Perhaps much, much more in the right real estate market. According to county records, the home's assessed value is $9.5 million and comes with an annual property tax bill of $112,000. Richard may still own an additional home in Malibu, a condo in Laguna Woods, California, as well as properties in Minnesota and Vancouver. T. Richard Dean Anderson Net Worth Richard Dean Anderson is an American actor, television producer, and composer who has a net worth of $30 million. We all aim for beauty and positivity, but that doesn't mean that there won't be any other negative things. When things proliferate, the human mind will also be different, more peaceful, more peaceful, and understanding is what needs to make a person positive. The end of a sad story may mean they go to another world, but it can simply be a sad story that happens over the years. What we need is to overcome all those difficult things, have a lot of fun, and have lots of health.